You know me, SDMT. Let's get it, baby. But before we do, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and turn on my notifications. So, man, shout out to the gang, man. Let's get to it, man. Madden dropped his top 10 receiver rankings, man. You know we got to react to that, man. It was some snubs. We're going to talk about that later. We're going to get into, you know what I mean, the top 10 and the highest rated guys and, you know, who is a surprise or who should be there. Or, you know, we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. I know, you know, if you love football, you love Madden. We grew up on Madden, you know what I'm saying? Going crazy, you know what I'm saying? Playing all day and night, doing a franchise, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, some of y'all know. But anyway, let's get to it, man. Let's start off at the top, man. We already know Devontae Adams, 99 overall. You know what I'm saying? We got to give it to him. He deserves it, man. We got to give it to him. Devontae Adams went crazy last year. Over 100, 115 catches, 18 touchdowns. He went crazy, you know what I'm saying? So you got to definitely give him his just due, you know what I'm saying? That's that Can't nobody complain about that, you feel me? He's the number one receiver in the league based off what he did last year. All right, let's get it. Number two, we got DeAndre Hopkins. Last year's 99 overall. He's a 98 overall this year, which I don't understand why they couldn't make him a 99 overall. Maybe they only wanted one receiver at 99 overall. Maybe that's how they do it because there's no reason to drop DeAndre Hopkins. We saw him moss the world, man. He mossed the world against the Bills. Yo, say he bossed everybody. Yo, say he got that touchdown. Went crazy last year. You know what I'm saying? 1,400 yards and six TDs. So we know DeAndre Hopkins is. Jalen Ramsey said his toughest receiver to cover is DeAndre Hopkins. So that tells you right there. All right, we'll get into it next. We got Tyreek Hill at number three, man. He's a 98 as well. He had 1,200 yards and 15 touchdowns. Now, this is surprising to a lot of people. We know Tyreek Hill is a speedster as a you know very dynamic player he needs definitely refined himself he started off some running back in college but in nfl he transitioned to receiver he's got better at running his routes um he hasn't shown the greatest hands at times and he he's, he's definitely a, a a good weapon but i think number three might be a little bit too high for him personally especially as, as a receiver we, we talk about as a weapon okay because his speed definitely is a major factor but, you know what I mean, his routes have gotten a lot better, but his hands, as we saw in the Super Bowl with some games, that his hands aren't, you know what I'm saying, DeAndre Hopkins or Devontae Adams level, you know what I'm saying? So that could be kind of high for me, okay? So we look at Diggs at number four at a 97. So Diggs output over uh, uh, over Tyreek. Diggs had a huge year. He has routes, he has hands, and he's dependable, man. He went crazy last season for the Bills. He led the league in receptions. He also had uh, 1,500 yards and eight TDs. So that lets you know Diggs came to the Buffalo Bills first year with uh, Josh Allen went crazy. You know what I mean? So a lot of people were wondering if he's going to be good when he leave. When he left the Vikings, he's actually been better because they get him the ball. You know what I mean? They get him the ball. We look at um, next. We got Julio, 95. Man, Julio. People love Julio. You know what I'm saying? They just... Every year, they're going to say he's the best receiver in the league, even when the stats don't add up and everything. You know, it's just Julio. People love Julio. You know what I mean? So, he's at 95. He's at number five. Uh, that's kind of okay for me. I, I I would be okay if they had him a little bit lower, to be honest with you. He hasn't went crazy last year. He had 51 touch, 51 uh, catches and 700 yards. You know what I mean? He hasn't been scoring most touchdowns years prior to that. So, you know, we know he's a talented guy. He in, in his prime, he was definitely, you know, really good and one of the best, you know what I mean, at his position in the league. But, you know what I mean, he's definitely tapered off, and we're going to see what he has left for the Titans. We're going to see. But that's I, – I would be okay if he was lower. I would be. You know what I mean? Okay, so we got um Mike Thomas, man. Mike Thomas, he was injured a lot last year. He's going to be injured for the, a lot of this season early. So, you know, the year before that, we saw he had that huge season, you know what I mean? Then he got that huge contract, and he's shown a lot of his ability, uh, you know what I mean? And he's definitely good at the shorter routes, the slants, we already know. But uh, at the end of the day, you know what I mean? I feel like that's a fair placement for him. I wouldn't be mad if he was a little bit lower as well, kind of like Julio. Um, Keenan Allen, man, finally getting the respect that he deserves, man. A 93, man, he could be a little bit higher, you know what I mean? He has the hands, he has the routes, he has the awareness, he has, you know, the experience. He has just, just, he, he is a polished receiver, you know what I mean? Him and Diggs 
You can also throw Hopkins in, you know what I mean? Adams in as well. But there's guys that are polished receivers. And Keenan Allen is a polished receiver. He's not the fastest. Tyreek Hill, Tyree Hill is faster. But as a polished receiver, Keenan Allen is a better polished receiver. Um, you know what I mean? We got He had 900 yards and eight TDs with a rookie quarterback in Herbert. Okay? We look at Amari Cooper at a 91. I think that's fair. Coop didn't have Dak. And uh, he's been super productive with Dak. So I think that's fair. Um, Allen Robinson, man, it would have had a 90, 1,200 yards and six touchdowns he had last year. Um, he's a solid receiver. He's been one of the most consistent receivers the last several years, no matter who his quarterback's been. He's had some trash quarterbacks, we know, you know what I'm saying, going from the Jaguars to the uh, Bears, and he's been putting up 1,000-yard season. So, yeah, I, you, you can't hate on Allen Robinson. He deserves his spot. All right, snubs. Let's get to the snubs. No OB Jizzle, no OBJ, man, but he's been injured. We understand no OBJ. He's been injured. But that doesn't make sense when they got some guys like, you know what I'm saying, Mike Thomas, and they got some, you know what I mean, some Julio on there, too. They got some injuries, but, you know, OBJ is definitely a snub. You know what I mean? It's going to be interesting to see where he's at. Um, Jarvis Landry, definitely interesting to see him not on there. We're going to have him at. Um, Justin Jefferson, man, he went crazy last year, man. I think definitely... I wouldn't be mad if he was a 90, man. The 90 to a 91, you know what I mean? The way he came in the league and he had a, such an instant impact that he went crazy, man. Like, Justin Jefferson, man, he should be in the mix. I'm sorry. He should be. In, what do you think? You know what I'm saying? You, you agree with me. You already know. You already know. Okay. Um, Thielen. Come on, man. Adam Thielen. We got to show the dude some love, man. Come on. He, he could have he been a little bit higher. You feel me? It ain't have a minute, but you know what I mean? It's all right. Cooper Cup, man. Cooper Cup. So that's another snub right there. You know what I mean? A solid receiver uh, definitely has been consistent in the league. He's had some injuries, but when he's healthy, he's a problem. You know what I mean? Um, Calvin Ridley, man. They showed some stats that Calvin Ridley had his biggest games when Julio was out, showing that he can be a number one receiver. He has routes. He has hands. He has the full ability to be, to be a number one, and that's why the Atlanta Falcons weren't, you know what I mean, too hurt by giving up Julio. You know what I mean? They knew Calvin Ridley could be a number one receiver, okay? And then DK Metcalf. That's a big snub, man. DK has been going crazy. We know he's fast. We know he's big. We know he's strong. We know he he's a big deep threat. He's gotten better at his routes. You know what I mean? I definitely think we look at DK, what he has been able to do these last few years, he should definitely be in the mix. You know what I mean? He can score touchdowns. He can get yards. You know, yes, he's had some drops that people talk about, but he's a young receiver. He's getting better and better um, every year. So you got to love his improvement. So those are my snubs, man. Those are my reactions. Oh, Chris Godwin. No, Chris Godwin as well. That's pretty surprising as well. So those are my snubs, man. And go in the comments and let me know who was snubbed or who do you think should be higher or lower or do you agree with SDMT, all right? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on my notifications. And that's a wrap on SDMT!